Today we're going to be taking a look at the composition of transformations and just reading at the top it states that a composition of transformations is a combination of two or more transformations. The first transformation produces an image, then the second transformation is performed on that image. The symbol is an open circle. It's like the dot for multiplication but it's not filled in and we read this symbol right to left. And I'll talk about what that means down below when we actually write a composition. So if we look at the uh, sequence of transformations to the right, we're starting with triangle ABC and to move to A prime, B prime, C prime, we reflect it over the x-axis. So that was our first transformation from triangle ABC to A prime, B prime, C prime. And I can see we do have a typo because we mentioned now we're going to take that image and let's see what happens. Moving from A prime, B prime, C prime to A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, that is a translation. That was a slide left and that slide was five units left. So that's a slide or a translation, negative five, zero. So written as a composition, okay, with the open circle, because I read right to left, I want to write the reflection on the right side. And then translation on the left of that symbol. Okay? And the composition of two or more rigid motions, since a reflection and a translation is a rigid motion, the composition of two or more rigid motions is a rigid motion. So let's take a look at question number one. If the coordinates of A are negative two, six, what are the coordinates of A after the composition of a rotation of 90 followed by a reflection in the x-axis? I like to set up a table as I do when I do any transformation. So the starting point is negative two, six for A, and we're first going to rotate 90 degrees and then take that and reflect it across the x-axis. Rotating 90 degrees, as I mentioned, I don't memorize any of the rules, so I'm gonna sketch it, okay? So if I sketch the point negative two, six, that's right here, and I'm going to ref or rotate rather 90 degrees. So that's in a counterclockwise direction. So once I rotate in this direction, this now becomes the x-axis. So that means I'm left one, two, three, four, five, six. And if this becomes the x, that point is now below two. Okay, so that's negative six, negative two. Now I'm going to take that point and reflect it across the x-axis. So if I'm down two below, I now need to go up two, and my x value stays the same, but now instead of two below the x-axis, across would be two above. So this is my image after the composition. Number two. In the accompanying diagram, ABCD is a square with lines N, S, and L drawn. What is, after the composition of BF, um, the image after, or first, we're going to reflect across S. So BF is here. I reflect across line S, which is here, and we end up at A. H. Now I'm going to take a H and reflect it across line N. Line N is this diagonal and since um, A is on the line it's going to remain on the line and that's called um, remaining invariant and then H lands on E so that's the segment AE. So after the composition, we get A, E. 
And last, or at least last one on the front, um, write the given composition of all those ref uh, rotations as an equivalent single rotation of A. So if you look at this one, that means we're going to rotate clockwise 30, so end there, then go back 40, so let's just pack 10, or 40 in the other direction, and then another 60. So I more or less can take these three numbers and just add it together. Because what was left here when I stopped, here was the 30, and then I went um, from here to, or where did I start? I started here, I went left 30, right? Or in a clockwise direction, and then back 40. So that's a difference from here to here of 10, which I get when I add these two. And then I'm going to continue going in this direction 60 more. So 10 plus 60 is going to give me 70. So as a single rotation, that would be equivalent to a rotation of 70 degrees of point A. All right, the back side. If I have a composition of two line reflections, that's the same as one single transformation. So let's take a look when the reflections are in parallel lines and see what happens. So I've, I have line segment AB. We're first going to reflect across the line x equals 1. And that's right here. So I'll do the reflection in blue. So reflect across the line. That point would be here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's my new line segment. Okay. Now I'm going to take that and reflect across x equals negative 4. So another line that's parallel. So line tool, 1, 2, 3, 4, right here. I'm going to do that reflection, and I'll finish with a darker blue. So this point here, 1, 2, and that point was A going across. So this is my A prime. This was B, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's B prime. So that line looks to me, if I started here, that's just a shift left. It looks to me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 units. So that single transformation of two line reflections, if it's parallel lines, is a transformation. Or translation, rather. Translation. And the translation is t, negative 10, 0. Okay? That's if the lines are parallel, then we just, it's, the one transformation is a slide. Now we're going to take a look at reflecting um, two more or two line reflections that are not parallel, so they're intersecting. So I picked the x and y axis. So when I go across the x axis first, we get this point here, and then reflecting across the y axis. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So here's a prime. B across the x, 1, 2, 1, 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2. Here's B prime. Connecting, okay, if I just take a look with this one, at the coordinates, say, of A to start, which is 5, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 1. Now it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1. So A prime went negative 5, 1. When you do the opposite, so instead of going right 5, down 1, and you go left 5, up 1, that's the same as a rotation, and that's a rotation of 180 degrees. Down below, we're going to talk about a... Um, a special, or not a special, but a specific composition of transformations, and that's called a glide reflection. And just reading the paragraph, a glide reflection is a composition or a composite transformation 
in which a figure is reflected through a line and is translated along that line in a direction parallel to the line of reflection, or vice versa. So here you can see we end up in the same spot, which is the green pentagon, and starting with the blue. Here we first did a reflection first, okay, so the R, and then it was followed by a translation. From blue to red, we did the translation first, and then reflected. So the order doesn't matter. So the note over here, a glide reflection is a special composition since it's commutative. The order in which we reflect and slide doesn't matter. We end up in the same spot. Because we're talking about a reflection, and we can see this below in the triangles, okay, orientation is not preserved. So let's take a look at the examples below. Part A says to draw and label the image of both of the triangles under the given transformations. And part B says to state whether the composite transformation is a glide reflection and explain. So for triangle text, we're going to reflect across the line x equals zero. So let's highlight that line. So because our shift, the slide, has to be a shift parallel to that. So since the line of reflection is x equals zero, which is a vertical line, the shift must be up or down in order to be parallel. So let's take a different colored pen and let's first reflect. So over line E is here, and then we're gonna go down five. One, two, three, four, five. So here's E prime. For T, from the y-axis, we're left five, so right five is here, and then a shift down, one, two, three, four, five, here's t prime. And then x from the y-axis is left two, so right two, and then down, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I need to take an eraser. There should be no other markings besides the triangle and its image, so we need to get rid of that and I'm going to draw the image. Okay, so you can just look at the, um, the com uh, composite transformation up here, for instance. And looking at the line of reflection, which is up and down, and, you were to sh and your shift is down, okay, the movement went down, we know that it's going to be a glad reflection because that movement is parallel to the line of reflection. So my answer, state whether the composite transformation is a glad reflection. So yes, it is a glad reflection. Triangle text is translated in a direction parallel we use the symbol to the line of reflection. Okay, and then so we can actually skip the last graph if you would like and just look at the composition because the slide has to be parallel. So if we draw the line of reflection, which is y equals negative one, that's a horizontal line. So in order for the shift or the transformation to be a glide reflection, the shift or the translation must be left to right. And if I look at the x, the x is zero. So there's no shift left to right, it's being shifted up. So without doing the graph, I can tell that this is not a glide reflection because the shift going up is not parallel to the line of reflection which is left to right. So the answer is no. Triangle ABC is translated in a direction that is not parallel to the line of reflection. And feel free, if you can't see that, 
actually do the composite transformation so you can see that the shift was not parallel to the line of reflection.